To get started with PDF3D Report Gen for converting GeoTIFF elevation grids and images, we can show the following quick steps. First of all, load the GeoTIFF containing elevation DTM data as your main input file. Then on the PDF3D View tab, set the view scheme to geospatial. On the geospatial tab, part way down the left, there's a geospatial image option. Use the change button to browse and select the appropriate GeoTIFF file containing the raster image to be draped onto the surface. On the interface settings, there's a color map and elevation tab. It's important for GeoTIFF elevation data that you select the elevation mode to not be automatic, but to set that to be enabled explicitly. Also with GeoTIFFs, it's important that you specify the no data or null data value to be zero, which is a common, or if you're using a different convention, that can be set. Then on the advanced tab, normally we would select a tin from our gridding tab. However, that's not available for the GeoTIFF format, so we're using the advanced simplification option and setting about half a million triangles in our output tin. Uh, otherwise, it would generate many million triangles for a fully populated grid. Once we have those settings specified, push the Convert button, and it's important to select the GDAL interface for GeoTIFF formats, which will take care of the registration and the draping of both the elevation grid and the raster image. The conversion will first load the DTM, create a full shaded triangle mesh representing the elevation data, and then load the raster image to be draped over the surface. The image is applied as a texture map in 3D graphics within the 3D view in the PDF file. So here we have an optimized tin representing the elevation grid data from the GeoTIFF and also a GeoTIFF raster image draped over the surface. Our view settings have the geospatial orientations for plan and different elevations looking at the model from different aspects. With that quick guide, you should be able to get started. A further setting can be made for large grids by setting the gridding tab subsampling parameter to a larger number than one to create a smaller output grid resolution.